Last year, it was Mia's boob job. This year, my eyeballs. It's Thanksgiving. Please don't bully me. What is a vaquero? I'm so dumb. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome to the last vlog before vlogmas begins. I just got the first draft of the edit for the vlogmas intro and this might be the best intro that I've ever done. It's like the film home video vibes that we shot on a Super 8 camera and it's exactly what I wanted. I literally like lost my mind and was like no notes. I have literally zero notes for you. It's incredible and I'm so so excited for you to see it. It is currently Thanksgiving today, so happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Um, as a non-American, I'm just here to eat. Jeremy is actually back in his hometown right now spending some time with his mom. I'm here with the pups, and Miss Cooking with Remy Remy Cruz has invited me to join the Cruz family Thanksgiving dinner this evening. She has taken me in um, out of the goodness of her heart, and and gonna be honest, this is probably about to be the best Thanksgiving food that I've ever eaten in my entire life. So I am contributing 12 crumble cookies, obviously. I ordered them last night because crumble is closed today. I have kept them airtight as much as I would love to just take a little sample beforehand, you know, just to like make sure they're okay because this week they've got the pumpkin pie flavor, which is my all time favorite crumble cookie flavor of all of them. I've got a few bottles of champagne. I've also got six, no, maybe just four. I can't remember how many I ended up getting, but I've got a shit ton of broccolini to make um, because I do make a decent broccolini. Um, it's basically just like olive oil, garlic salt, real garlic and a shit ton of Parmesan cheese and it comes out 10 out of 10 every single time. So I've got a ton of broccolini to make and then I'm also, hopefully we'll have time to make crack bars, which I have made before in the past on the vlog. They're essentially just um, fruity pebbles, rice krispies with white chocolate melted on top and then cooled and that's essentially it. There's no baking and they are always a hit. So I've got crack bars to make, I've got a shit ton of broccolini to make and a whole bunch of stuff that I cannot forget. Hello, pups? A whole bunch of stuff that I will pack up and take over to Remy's tonight. Also, I booked LASIK. I did it. I booked LASIK eye surgery um, during Vlogmas as well too. I was like, fuck it. Let's just, let's just make this a Vlogmas festivity and um, we're doing it. So I will have the entire procedure and I'm going to put trigger warnings all over it depending on how much we end up shooting. But as I've been watching videos, it is incredibly non-invasive and so i don't even think there's anything crazy that i'm gonna have to like be like hey like if you don't like there's it's not like there's like a sharp object going into an eyeball is essentially what i'm trying to say on the podcast and in past vlogs i've gone back and forth on instagram i've talked to so many of you who have had incredible experiences with lasik and honestly like if you have a friend of an uncle of an aunt of a cousin of a sister of a babysitter who has had a bad experience truly don't even tell me i don't want to know i don't want to know I don't know, but if you have done LASIK and it's gone great, tell me all the positive things. Um, but yeah, I, I've done so much research at this point and I've got my consultation booked during Vlogmas and then a week later, we're doing it. So that's what's happening during Vlogmas this year. Last year, it was Mia's boob job. This year, my eyeballs. Merry Christmas. Crack bars are a go. I've got, I'm gonna leave the recipe um, in the description, but I've got my butter. I've got my marshmallows, my mini marshmallows, which um, are, I, I, I didn't have any issues getting them, but I saw that mini marshmallows right now are a hot commodity. I forgot that that one sweet potato dish is super popular that has the mini marshmallows on top. And then fruity pebbles, obviously the main ingredient. Okay, um, butter. Also something absolutely devastating. My fucking fridge is broken again. <laughs> My Thermidor fridge is broken again. There was Thermidor drama less than two years ago where they ended up replacing my fridge because again, it was only like maybe three years old. Replaced the whole thing. I just, I don't have a fridge. I don't have a fridge. And honestly, I'm not confident that I will have a fridge. Uh, 
for the holidays. I'm really not. I'm, I'm not. And I can't believe this is happening again. I can't believe it. That's the drama that I have going on in my life, which I know is not actual like real drama, but I just can't believe I've like the Thermidor saga of my life was so long and I can't believe it's happening again. I can't believe it. Again, this is my friend Josh Elkins recipe and it says either one bag of regular marshmallows or two cups of mini marshmallows. And so I'm a little unsure what to do here because, oh, well, I guess <laughs> one cup and two-ish cups. <laughs> oh, fucking love mini marshmallows. So good, every time. Okay, back in the microwave for 20 seconds. Wow, the way that you can't see that whatsoever. <laughs> Honestly though, melted butter and melted marshmallows smells so good for for no reason, for just absolutely no reason. Well, there is reason and it's cause it's bad for you, but it is smells delicious in here. Okay, pretty pebbles, in you go. Whee! One whole bag. Every time I do this, I'm like, there's just no world where this ends up being enough. I feel like, hang on, let me bring you down so you can have the full effect of the Fruity Pebbles. My ratio does not feel right. And I say this every time, but my shoulder is dying. <laughs> my shoulder is dying. <laughs> I started doing Pilates, but specifically Legree Pilates, which are on a mega reformer or a mega former or whatever. And the way that I have been humbled so deeply by Legree is in, I have never felt like you guys know, like I've been working out for, I don't know, a, over a year now. And like, I consider myself to be decently strong. The way that I have to literally schedule these classes minimum five days apart because I am so violently sore. Holy shit. If you feel like challenging yourself um, strength wise, oh my God. So anyways, it's getting easier. Like it's getting, I think, I think I'm getting actually just mentally stronger. Maybe I'm not getting physically stronger. I probably am also, but it's only been a couple of weeks of degree. But I'm getting mentally stronger because though, like I cannot explain to you how, oh man. So anyways, I did Pilates a few days ago and my shoulder still hurts, obviously, as this is killing me. Why is there not like a proper way to hold the bowl? I don't know what I'm doing right now. I feel like <gasps> Now that I'm looking at it, I, like, I feel like this is, obviously there's so many sides because Miss Remy delivers when she hosts. She's truly hosts with the mostest. But I was like, oh, six bunches, that's so much broccolini. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, that's not enough fucking broccolini. Well, I will forfeit my serving because that's on me. <laughs> but like, there's six bunches. I don't know, maybe it'll be fine. Okay, well I'm gonna split this into two. So my favorite thing to like evenly coat this um, is to put it in a bowl with a lid and all your ingredients and shake the shit out of it so everything's evenly covered. Um, I just feel like when you're cooking with any kind of oil, if it's not evenly distributed, the way that I'm talking right now is if I know what the shit that I'm doing, I'm not. I've just made this so many times because it is truly the only vegetable that I can make that is acceptable to feed other people. That's my broccolini advice. <laughs> oh God. Oh shit, this might have to go in 
multiple. Okay, so I oil. Hello? Oh my god, why was that so hard? I olive oil and then garlic salt. And then please don't come for me. Please. It's Thanksgiving. Please don't bully me. This is jarred preserved minced garlic. And I know that people have thoughts on this. I know that, okay? But it's just not in my realm of doability. I don't think that's a word. To keep fresh garlic. Also, like with the whole drama of the fridge, I had to throw out everything. Not that that would have made any kind of impact. Fuck, I can't even open this. <laughs> Anyways, please don't be mean to me and just accept me for who I am with my minced jarred garlic. And don't tell the guests. Okay, we're gonna go. Hope no one wanted to have an up and personal conversation tonight. And then freaking real. As much as I love the tub of fake Parmesan, this does have to be with the real stuff. It's so much better. Parmesan. Oh, perfect. All the garlic and the cheese is stuck at the top. Okay, that's okay. Okay, um, that's it. I'm gonna get them all spread across two trays, but I'm basically gonna do that two more times, I think. This bowl is like a little limiting in size. Um, and then we're done our broccolini. And then I think we can probably cut the bars and we're ready to Thanksgiving. The way that there is a garlic parmesan cheese on my chest right now. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, I pulled one out. It's been 20 minutes in the oven. You can see the cheese is starting to get toasty. Ooh, it looks good. I'm gonna give them, um, I'm gonna give them another like five, six minutes and just give them a flip as well too. I've got uh, beggars over here praying for a broccolini. She's done. She's done. Um, I'm like trying to find a small one for a taste test. Oh, here's a good one. Love a little, <laughs> not the beauty guru <laughs> to show broccolini with cheese on it. <laughs> okay, that was taste test. <laughs> I think it's good. Fuck, I'm so stressed to bring this to Remy's house. I just have the palate of a fucking six year old. So I'm like, I think it tastes good, it's just got cheese and garlic on it. I feel like the actual broccolini itself is a little bit more tart than normal. And the fact that I can even identify that is also shocking to me, let me be very clear. Fuck, I feel like I just try one more. Oh, cheesy. Cheesy, let's go. This is my broccolini serving since there's not a ton. Oh shit, that bite was really salty. Fuck. <laughs> fuck, I'm so stressed. I also, like, I, I prefer more salt than most people, so I'm like, fuck, maybe I put too much garlic salt in. I'm so stressed. <laughs> Bring food to Remy's house. I have to feed Remy's grandma. Do you know how stressful that is? Sweet little Korean lady. Maybe when I get there, I just won't tell anyone that it's mine. I'll just slide it onto the table and people can take it. And I just won't take any accountability for it unless there's compliments about it. And I'll be like, oh my God, yeah, look at these crack bars and this crumble over here. So I contributed. Do you want some champagne? I also made that myself. 
<laughs> also, the way that I got this pan, thinking I was gonna have enough broccolini to fill this, which is probably the serving size that I should have had. Um, so I don't need this, can save that for maybe a Christmas celebration. I think I have something smaller that I can do. And then when we get there, I'm gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on it and we can just pop it in the oven to heat it up and it should be good. I think it's okay. I wish that you guys could try it. Like I wish, like everyone always talks about smell-o-vision, but like what about taste-o-vision? Like I wish I had a second opinion. Moose and Diggy would gobble it up, but they can't eat any of that. So that's not an option. And I also don't have enough to be like, hey Mia, can you come over real quick and taste this to make sure it's okay? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I'm gonna transfer it to our travel container and then I'm gonna cut the crack bars. I'm so excited. Wee! She's done. Um, one of the best tips that Josh gave me, and hopefully I waited long enough, um, is to cool it in the fridge for like an hour or two and then let it kind of settle back at room temperature before you cut it or else the, which it's like not a big deal, but the white chocolate cracks a little bit. So it's a little bit cleaner. Also, my big cutting board is dirty from the broccolini. So anyways, um, Ah, oh, fuck me, it cracked. I'll eat that one. No, stop it, stop cracking. Stop cracking. See, if I time managed my day better, I could just let this sit for a little longer, but unfortunately, that is not the case. Um, also did an awful job of cutting this in the middle. I'm like, do I cut this into... Yeah. Oh my God. So cracky. Anyways, so there's the tip to make it not crack. <laughs> this one is perfect. Look at her. I'm gonna eat one and I've got three extras that don't fit this container since there's like lots of, lots of dessert. So I'm gonna save a few of these for Jeremy um, and then these ones are ready to go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get changed. I feel like the vibe of the day for the outfit is stretchy. Stretchy, comfortable, and bloatable. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to uh, bed currently. I'm having a packing spiral at the moment. And so I thought, what better time than to share this with the internet. I also have my tripod balancing just like on our pretty soft bed. So there's a high chance you guys take a face plant. Um, I am leaving for a little brand trip tomorrow. I haven't been on a brand trip since I think the very first year of Jeremy and I dating. We went to Hawaii with Tart and I haven't been on a brand trip in like four plus years. So I am incredibly excited. It's been so long and I'm truly so honored. I feel like now more than ever, um, everyone is an influencer. And so to get an invite to a brand trip, I am beyond honored. So we are this week going to Santa Barbara area, specifically Santa Inez. And then I think we're also doing a day in Solvang, Solvang, which is the cutest little town that's like modeled after uh, a European town. I'll pop a photo on screen so you can see. I'm gonna be vlogging the whole thing. Also Vlogmas day one, I think what I'm gonna do, and also let me know if you guys have a preference, like what you think makes sense here, because our last day in Santa Inez will be Vlogmas day one. So what I think that I'll do is vlog, no wait, start Vlogmas day one, 
on December 1st as I wake up and like start my day and then I'll jump into the recap of the rest of the trip and include that like later on in the vlog. I want it to be like, like we do Vlogmas. Like we do like the real ass Vlogmas every single day. I've had so many people be like, oh, so are you like all pre-filmed? And I'm like, what do you mean pre-filmed? That's not how Vlogmas works. So I think I'll do it. I'll start on our last day of the trip and then also recap the rest of the trip within Vlogmas day one. I think that's how we'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm packing for that trip right now and they have provided us with a style guide and like, do I have a hoodie for every style suggestion? Probably. Do I have actual outfits? No, I basically have like one going out outfit and like a bunch of dresses. And um, I had to do uh, a decent amount of shopping and like proper planning of styling outfits, which I think has actually been really great and really beneficial for my packing. But let me walk you through the style guide suggestions, which honestly, I'm so grateful for truly. Like I am I need all the help that I can get. Not gonna lie, a little stressful, a little bit stressful. Remy and Cal are also going on the trip and it's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. And Remy and I have been um, like jointly panicking about what we're wearing. Okay, so we are taking the train from downtown LA Union Station to Santa Barbara, the Pacific Surfline, which I've heard is beautiful. I haven't been on a train since I lived in Toronto. And if you live in Toronto, you know about the GO train and the GO train is not a luxurious experience. I think this is going to be a little nicer than the GO train. Um, no, no shade to the GO. Actually, the GO train really fucked me a few times. A little bit of shade to the GO train. Um, so anyways, on our travel day, it's like world traveler, neutrals, leather, suede, and denim. The way that I would have worn sweatpants and Uggs to this, thank God. <laughs> because I know people are gonna be wearing like, people I think are gonna show out for this. So uh, I I am really gonna try and give it give it my all. Okay, so that's day one. Night one, um, the theme is Vaquero Nights. I've literally never seen the word Vaquero in my life v-a-q-u-e-r-o still not entirely sure what that means but the vibe is fiesta chic equestrian formal and bold prints i'm gonna try on all of my outfits before i toss them into the suitcase so we'll go through everything day two athleisure nailing it didn't have to buy anything for that one obviously uh day two part two Wes anderson meets city metro thank god they give you like vibe suggestions because i'm like what does that mean what exactly does that mean? So prints, patterns, color blocks. Um, I've got a plaid skirt outfit, I think for that one. Uh, night two, field of florals. I don't own a single floral dress. So this is a purchase that I definitely had to make specifically for this trip. Uh, day three, we're doing a photo shoot. So you can wear whatever you want that you feel most comfortable in. I think I've got a white dress that I wore in the Vlogmas intro that I'm gonna wear. And then uh, night three, preppy and plaid or all of the gems. So gem tones, preppy, plaid, elevated, the most formal night, go all out. I bought seven dresses. I bought seven dresses for this night and I returned six of them and I have one that, that works. It's not a gem tone, it's black, but it is really, really pretty. I'm also gonna bring a few like backup panic outfits in case like I don't feel good in the outfit that I planned for. Um, I feel like after traveling and like eating food that's not in your normal routine, sometimes I just get like extra bloated. Um, so I'm gonna bring a few extra outfits just in case. Um, okay, let's try some stuff on. Also, I got this new blanket from Urban Outfitters. It was sold out for so long. It's like a marshmallow quilt, but it's so, oh my God. It literally, my new favorite blanket. It's not even supposed to, like I, I keep it on the couch, but Jeremy has the AC fucking blasting up here. So as I've been planning my outfits, I've been trying to like, <sighs> warm my hands. I'm being dramatic, it's not that bad. It's like it's like 71. Okay, let's plan some freaking outfits. <sighs> God. Okay, the travel outfit. This jacket is so cute. I probably could have sized down. It's from Lulu's. Um, I got a small, I probably could have gotten an extra small. It's a little bit, it's meant to be a little boxy. 
I think, but I think I could have gone maybe one size down. Um, but I don't have a jacket in this color and suede day one travel. I'm wearing jeans and I kind of super hate that, but that's okay. That's okay. So here's outfit one for travel. These ones are actually pretty comfortable. They are um, good American. And then I think I'm going to do the Funkette platform slippers um, because I feel like that's a great match. Yeah. Okay. We're doing it. I wonder if I just swap these out. No, you know what? These are pretty soft. I can, I'll be fine for a two hour train ride. I'll be fine. Or do I want to wear yoga pants? We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna bring yoga pants. I'm gonna bring leggings, like uh, fitted ones and also flare ones. I feel like the flare ones could also be cute with this outfit as well too, and would be so much more comfortable. I don't know. Maybe that'll be a game time decision depending on how I feel tomorrow. Regardless though, I'm gonna pack all of those bottoms because these jeans fit so well. They're like the crisscross waist as well too. Um, okay, travel day, check. Am I equestrian chic or what? <laughs> Honestly, this dress is so flattering and fits so well. Um, so little denim dress moment. And then I've got these thigh high black boots. Um, that are shockingly comfortable. So equestrian, chic, formal, vaquero. I should definitely Google what vaquero means. Maybe we should do that right now. What is a vaquero? I'm so dumb. Vaquero just means cowboy in Spanish. God, it is exhausting being stupid. In my defense, we don't learn any Spanish in Canada. I didn't take any Spanish electives. Uh, but, you know, you learn something every day. Vaquero. You know, I'm gonna just not try and pronounce that. Anyways, here's the first night's outfit. Honestly, this is, I feel like I'm playing dress up. Like, this is so fun. Okay, here's my Wes Anderson meets City Metro. I think it's probably all wrong, but I don't have that much color. This is the best that I can do with a print. Um, it also said plaid. This skirt is from Lulu's and then I'm not entirely sure where this shirt is. I'll double check. And then I've got these shoes. I think we're doing like um, wedding planning workshops with professionals this day. So it'll just be chill. So this will be the little indoor outfit. Um, also, I'm gonna obviously do my hair properly. I won't be wearing this like chunky, big ass uh, headband just to Make sure we're all on the same page here. But yeah, cute, shockingly comfy. I'm also gonna bring a backup shirt. I got this shirt actually from Wasteland, um, but it's just a Zara shirt. It's one of those shirts that looks super duper teeny tiny, but it's like one of those two piece. It's got a built-in tank top, which I kind of love. Maybe I'll just try this one on actually now and make a decision so I'm not overpacking because I already panic packed a second pair of shoes for that last outfit. Oh God, see the spiral is, it's happening live right now. Uh, great news for anyone who might be a little smaller than me. I shrunk that shirt in the wash when I washed it after just buying it from Wasteland. So uh, we'll probably be on Poshmark soon. <laughs> Okay, here's the floral dress. I actually just picked it up from getting altered. Um, I've been trying to get my clothes fitted a little bit better. Um, so I got this dress on clearance and I was like, oh, this is really cute. I really like the cut. But um, I think I took a photo wearing it right before we um, altered a little bit. And I also added a little leg cut, which I think is essential. So I've got this and then the back, hopefully those little strings aren't hanging out. But the back is like really cute and low and I just had like a little too much fabric. Um, I know it's supposed to be a little bit loose and flowy, but I just had like a little too much to the point where I totally looked like just a floral trash bag. And that wasn't quite the vibe. So here's my floral night and then I've got no shoes for this one. Perfect. I've got no shoes for this one. Okay, black shoes, black shoes, black shoes, black shoes, black shoes, black shoes. Okay, and then last night, this dress is so pretty. I love this one. I also feel like this has like major wearability for other events later on down the road, but it's just like flattering and shiny and fun. And I love the cut. And then these are the shoes from Super Down that I am going to pair with them. Just like little strappy, cute crystal-y ones to go with all of the bling and sequin, shiny, gem, night, 
I really tried to find a gem tone color that also had sparkles, but it just like, it wasn't, it wasn't in the cards for me. So anyways, I think that, oh, and then here's the bag as well. She said, gem stone. These are just not gemstones whatsoever, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, okay, I think that's everything. Um, here's my backup floral dress, which is also really, really cute. It's kind of got like, um, fuck, what is this texture called? It's spelled J-A-C-Q-U-A-R-D. Jacquard? I don't know. <laughs> but this is my backup floral dress, which is also really cute and honestly, even though it looks tiny, very like bloat, uncomfortable in your body friendly, and also has really pretty shiny straps. Look at those. Okay, so that's a backup. So I'm gonna bring her as well. I'm just committing to a full size suitcase at this point, even though it's only four days, three nights. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm fully committing. And then here is the dress for the photo shoot. So cute. This is from House of CB. It is adorable. Um, I feel they were like, they didn't give any specific direction in terms of like if you had to wear a color or if it had to be bridal, but I feel like while I have Jeremy trapped in front of a photographer with me, I might as well milk the bridal moment for everything that it's worth. <laughs> okay, um, that's everything. Not a hint of color. I'm looking down right now on my suitcase. It's just, it's just black and tan. Black and tan. Okay, that's okay. That is okay. I'm gonna throw in some more uh, emergency outfits just in case put some like extras together. Also, I got a few new coats to choose from um, cause I don't really have like a formal black coat and I haven't decided. So this can just be in real time. This one is fuzzy. I don't know though, it's just looking like a bathrobe kind of. It's got the collar and like the lapel but I feel like you can't really see it. Is this too? Oh, and there's pockets. I feel like you can't see like the formal elements that make it a little more formal. Okay, so maybe not for this one. And then here's the other one that I got. And it's got like the fun sleeves. It's like a little trench coat. Yeah, this is probably a little better. This is definitely a little better. The other one though, huge fan, so comfy but this one probably suits the vibe a little better. Okay, that went surprisingly well. Now let's stuff it all in here. I also have this. Wish I had some real time decision making that we could do together. I think I might go with this one. I love this fur lined um, collar. I think in the actual scheme of staying warm in the evening, um, I'm checking the temperature and it's pretty chilly at night. So I think I might go for this one in terms of actual efficiency as well of staying warm. Okay, decision made. Thanks team. Oh my God, we're on a branch trip. It's Yay! been so long, it's been so long. Um, okay, I'm gonna finish off this vlog. It's the last vlog before Vlogmas starts. Um, but I wanted to show you a quick trip, a quick a quick piece of the beginning of this trip. Um, we're on a train. Oh my God, look how cute I'm gonna eat are. one of these actually right now. <gasps> Not macarons. Cow. I also Cow. have a custom almond free <laughs> cupcake. Um, I also, for some reason, don't have anything violently happen to me when I eat macarons. Like, I found out about my almond allergy much long after eating my first macaron. It really does confuse me, though, how you can eat ground up almonds, but you can't eat an almond. But I can't eat an almond. That seems... Maybe because it's baked, maybe? Maybe? Mm, I don't know, but... Anyways, I'm gonna risk it. We've got an EpiPen nearby. I'll be fine. <laughs> but we got the cutest picnic basket. All the girlies are sitting here mm -hmm. at our table. We've got <laughs> Lily and Sierra as well. <laughs> hey. Um, and so we're supposed to share the picnic baskets, but I just don't know if that's in the cards. I will say, Jeremy's name is on the name tag, um, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, you know what, I think I do, even though I am not supposed to eat these, I do have my own box. I'm so excited. Did you bring said heavy pen? Or yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've okay. never even had to use it though. It's gonna be fine. Oh, I can do it for you. It's gonna be fine. You're that like allergic? This, totally. What? You're that allergic to eating Yeah. <laughs> it's, fine. it's fine, it's fine. Something about almonds being in a flower though makes it not allergic. That makes zero sense, but like, 
Yeah. Bless. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, I will see you guys at the hotel. Hello, update. We made it to the hotel and I feel like it's not it a hotel room tour. It's adorable. Unless we say, this is my <laughs> I don't know where we are, but it's cute as hell. It's so cute. I also can't wait to see the properties. We arrived um, by time it was dark and I'm so excited to see the property in the daytime because it looks cute as shit. Um, train ride was a success. It was so peaceful, just like fun, chatting, hanging with the girly pops. Um, we also did a tarot card reading and a palm line reading, which was shockingly accurate. Um, and I also, as soon as the girl, the girl who was doing the reading, um, walked up to me, she was like, I've read your cards before. And I'm not kidding when I tell you that this woman read my cards at a holiday management party probably seven years ago, like before I even met Jeremy. And she remembered, you know how many cards she probably reads every week? I could not believe it. Um, so anyways, that was part of the train experience, which was so much fun. And um, we were to the hotel and I thought I'd give you a little tour before we head down to dinner. Okay, walking in, walking in, we've got this little hallway here. Bathroom over to the right. Very cute. This is all brand new. So they match the aesthetic to like match the entire vibe of the um, hotel grounds because it was, it's, was built in the 1800s. So everything is brand new, but they did a great job just like overall matching. Honestly, babe, counter looks pretty sturdy. Hey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, full size mirror, adorable. There is the cutest patio. It's really freaking cold, so I'm not gonna go out, but it's I will show you. It's probably 60 degrees, but such a cute patio. So can't wait to go out there tomorrow. And then I'll pan over to the bed before we make it messy with clothes. The ceiling beams are so cute. There's the little mini bar over here. There's a mini fridge in that cabinet. Cute, cute, cute. I like this bed frame as well too. This is so like farmhouse. This is a beautiful slab of wood, big fan. Little sitting nook over here. Here's my picnic basket from the train ride. I think I can hang on this. And then a little desk over here. Um, I would say probably a hard no. How about hang on those? Probably hang off of that. Okay. I think maybe let's not try. Although this is a brand new hotel. I just feel as if maybe that's not the move. I love, it, look how tiny and cute this little frame is. It's so mini it and it has its own little light. It's like for the art. a mini fork. I love it. Form. I love it. I love it. I'm looking a little yellow. Woof. Those jeans make your butt look great. Thank you so much. Or maybe your butt makes those jeans look good. Also, thank you so much. Whichever one of those you, you want to go married, with. You're married and I'm going to write a book. I don't know about that one. Anyways, I am going to end the vlog here. Why? But Already? What? Yeah. Why? This is the this is the last vlog before Vlogmas starts. Oh. Well, goodbye, everyone. It's been nice to know you. I'll see you next tomorrow. Jeremy didn't sleep last night, and he is a little delirious. I'm in that like um. I'm actually nicer when I don't sleep. Yeah, I would agree. That was. A long way to get to <laughs> an insult. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. Well, I love you, and I'm so glad that we're here together. Me this week, too. You went the vlog. It's going to be wonderful, and I'm so excited. So I'm going to continue vlogging um, to include all of this trip in uh, Vlogmas Day 1. So Vlogmas Day 1 is going to be freaking jam-packed. I over to my channel. I'm also going to be vlogging. Imagine. We'd have to break up. I'm so sorry. Why are you putting me in a box? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.